Today we're gonna fix our problems using tiny pumpkins. So I'm in a bit of an art block today and I have a couple of things that I like to do to get over that. One is I'll fill up a page with colorful blobs and do like one line flowers over it or something really simple and usually tiny. Two is I like to make these little geometric type designs that are just you normally just using ink or colored pencil. So it's really nothing to do with what I normally paint. Three, I'll do something totally weird and random like draw a house with my eyes closed or use both my hands at once. That's a fun one. And there's also a bunch of other little things I do, but today, today, we are drawing an army of tiny pumpkins. I'm giving myself 30 minutes, and if you do this, you can make it an hour or 10 minutes or whatever length of time you want. I'm giving myself 30 minutes to draw as many tiny pumpkins as I can. There are a couple of things I like about this exercise. One is I don't have to worry about it looking good because my goal is not to make something that looks good, it's just to make as many pumpkins as possible for whatever I've decided to do. Two is it forces me to get creative because when I'm drawing something this simple, I have to start to really think about the different things I can do with color and shape and different textures and using different mediums to make so many different versions of something that is really simple. Three is it has to be quick. Because the time limit is there, and this is why I often give myself time constraints when I'm sketching. I'm forced to do things quickly without having time to agonize over the little details like I would if the time limit wasn't there because I'm such a perfectionist. So in the first line I just used ink and as you can see you can get a lot of variation just with ink and then I started adding watercolor, I started adding colored pencil and there is just an endless amount of combinations that you can make once you start combining mediums and experimenting with colors and tones and patterns. And as we were wrapping up, I went around the page and added some small details just for fun. And I did this without reference pictures, which I normally do rely heavily on reference photos. But if you do this exercise, I would recommend doing it without any references just so you're not tempted to try and make it look like the photo and get stuck on some details. And we're done. I actually went a little over 30 minutes, which is really good because that means that I wasn't running out of ideas. So I would count this as a success. And I have a painting to walk on now, so that's that.